Hey, what's up everybody? John here and we are back in the garden again today and so I'm gonna just take you on a short little update tour of what's going on uh, show you some of the stuff that we did today and just uh, show you how some of some of our plants are really starting to grow pretty good and and also show you some of those that are doing uh, just just kind of struggling a little bit so uh, I hope you enjoy this update all right so we're gonna start here with the lettuce like we've done many times before but if you'll notice if you've watched any of the other videos we are actually in a different location we decided that the lettuce being over on that side of the garden was getting way too much sun through the day but over here it actually gets more shade total um, not right now it's all in the sun but right here you notice in the middle it was not growing at all but since we moved it here in the last week the middle has really grown up so i think it's a good move uh, moving it over here out of so much sun and what was here was the garlic and we we moved it over to that side okay so last week we uh had a whole bunch of rainwater that was in some tubs right here that we went ahead and transplanted these tomatoes into these new barrel tubs and they're looking uh looking pretty good it was a really good move to put them in something that actually drains so we've got tomatoes growing here in in a few of these right here we've got uh, zucchini growing here we got yellow crookneck squash growing here some of these are peppers and then we've got more tomatoes growing in these tubs right here so if all our tomatoes make out we'll be having quite a few but we'll get over to some here in just a second that aren't uh, aren't looking so hot still and we still are still are getting good growth on a lot of these potato plants we've got we got some bare spots where we don't have we don't have any potatoes coming up yet so i don't know hopefully they'll go ahead and make but potatoes growing here that bed right over there you recall here a couple weeks ago we put up our fence for trellis work here for uh all these peas look at all these peas growing here we've got we're not sure why, but we got a lot of yellow leaves coming on around the bottom here. But even with the yellow leaves on the bottom, they're growing up, growing tall here. And that one actually, look at that, a little flower on top of this. So they are still making, they're still growing. We're just going to let them go and see how they do. And right along here, we've got, well, we got cucumbers growing on this side. Still growing pretty good. And of course, I think one of my favorite beds here is the, this particular cabbage bed, just because we've got, we got some that are growing really good, getting spread out wide. We still got this one. They really kind of got frostbit, but it's hanging on. We've got some healthy leaves on it too. So we'll just let that hang out and it won't be long till we're actually getting a little cabbages in the middle. So then we can, then we can start making some slaw or making some soup or whatever. But check this out two weeks 
These were planted, these beans were planted two weeks ago. And they are full. We've got some little bug spots on some of them, but little holes in the leaves, but they're not too bad as of yet. Of course, here we've got spaghetti squash there, spaghetti squash there, and we've got cantaloupe growing right there. So, and then as I said, we've got we got some uh, tomato plants that just really are struggling. A little bitty one there, a little bitty one there, and so we'll. They may not make it. We're we're still up in the air about that, but it looks like they may not. Some others that have a little little damage to them, they may go ahead and take off. I guess we're gonna find out. Right there, a couple more here. Some over here. So I don't know. We'll we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do. But if you remember, if you remember last time I uh, raked up these these beds here, and this one had the onions in it. Well, this week as we were looking around along the edges down around the side here there's actually there's actually more onions that are growing than uh, than I thought so I may not have damaged them too awful bad over here we've got strawberries that got planted we got the rest of them planted today we got hay put down so looking forward to having some of those so more of our more of our cabbage and our, our original onions that we put in, so. Okay, so you saw over on the other side of the garden where we had moved the lettuce to. And the garlic, we moved to right up here. Um, and so they're getting more sun up here and I think it's gonna be good. But some of them actually, I don't know what happened. Maybe they got too wet whenever they were on the other side, but they've got, uh, they got the leaves that are coming up. Um, they're gonna got gross and sloughed off. And so we actually had to pull some of them up out of the, out of the planters because they were just uh, looking like they were starting to rot. They had, they had good, uh, good roots on them on some of them but just above the ground they they just looked horrible and and they were dying so we just pulled them out that way they're not uh, contaminating the rest of the rest of them if they would i don't know i don't know how that works but uh, anyway we don't have uh, we don't have 59 anymore um we got more like 50 or so but uh, still gonna be plenty uh, if they go ahead and dry out and grow so okay so here you see here's the garlic and uh See how some of them, even still, they're kind of droopy looking. Um, yesterday, whenever we pulled them out, the ones that we pulled out were really slimy on top. But most of them still looking pretty decent. And how do you like these uh, stair step, a little uh, little planter shelves that uh, that my in-laws put together? They use old, uh, old stair tread or uh, risers and put, put a tread platform on it to hold the planters. I thought that was pretty cool. It looks real nice. So then we've got our planters up here that Kelly put in. So we got basil in this one and sage growing here. Chives planted here, but we don't have anything coming up yet. Um, parsley, uh, oregano, and cilantro. So we'll be having some, some herbs this summer. 
that uh, we'll be able to do some nice cooking with, maybe dry some of them out. So garlic, herbs, looking pretty good. So they're here on the little deck just off the, uh, just off the garden here. Now these, that's our onion beds. And we had, we had trouble. We looked out here earlier this, uh, earlier this week and this, this little guy here and that little stem there belong together. So something has gotten into our onions over here and eaten the top off. We're not sure what it is. So today, Kelly and I, we got together and we put our heads together. We made little covers for the beds. They still have plenty of space for the uh, onions to grow up, but nothing can get to them. Most, uh, most bugs can't get through this, through this netting or the screen. And of course, no varmints or whatever it might be, animals can get in there. So we can easily lift those off and get into the bed if we need to pull out some weeds or tend to the onions. Water will go through it so we can water without having to mess with it. And, uh, you know, give them a, a little better chance of actually producing and growing. They're, what are they, 100 day, 100 day onions or so. And so they're gonna stay little for a little bit still and we wanna protect them as best we can. And uh, so, yeah, that's, uh, that's our garden. For now, it's looking pretty good. I showed you last week that we put in these poles the, so that we could put up the, uh, uh, so we could put up the fencing, uh, deer fencing. Well, today that project took place. So we've got eight foot deer fencing all along this fence on the side of the yard. Um, I mean, we've got just a little fence over here, a little fence over there, but the deer are never over there. The deer will come from over here around the pond and they'll jump the fence. And whenever there's a bird feeder over here, they'll get into the bird feeder and eat the feed. So. We know that they'll get in the yard just by jumping over the chain link fence. So uh, we all decided, well, why not put up the deer fencing so that they're not gonna easily jump in the yard and get into the, get into the garden. So, so today we framed up around the gates. So this gate can actually open. We cut, cut a hole in the fence so that we can still use the gate area, but the fence goes all the way from the house, down the yard, down to the corner of the pond here, so that it really, it really will deter any of the, uh, the deer trying to jump in the yard here. So I think it looks nice. This was, uh, this was one of those days when everybody was out here, all six of us at one point, working here in the garden so we're all looking forward to seeing what what it produces how much we get to eat from our work here how much we get to maybe even can that's part of it and uh you know maybe if the lord blesses us, uh, blesses us with a bumper crop of all this stuff uh, we'll get to eat some 
we'll get to can some. Maybe we'll even have an opportunity to uh, gift somebody else else with uh, with some produce as well. So, anyhow, that is the uh, that's the update tour of our garden for this week, and we'll uh, we'll keep taking a look at what's going on throughout this week and. If there's any major changes, uh, maybe I'll just shoot out a, a short little update video. Otherwise, it'll probably be next week uh, that we'll take a look again and figure out um, what's going on, see what's grown some, and see what else is maybe still struggling. But yeah, you know, it's just kind of how it goes. Whenever you got a garden, you don't know what's gonna what's gonna produce well, what's gonna take extra work, what's just gonna take off. Um, just after a week or two, like the like the beans have, uh, those are just really kind of amaze me. But anyway, thanks for thanks for sticking around and and watching the update. Um, if you if you like what we're doing with the garden, if you like the videos, then go down below and hit like on this video. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, ring the notification bell so that you know whenever new videos are up um, and uh, if you think others might enjoy seeing the garden videos then uh, feel free to share with your friends and you know we're not we're not professionals by any means just because my name my last name's Gardner doesn't mean that I'm a professional gardener uh, it's just what I was born with and I don't I don't know that I have much of a green thumb, but that's why this is a family project. And so, anyhow, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys. Um, I know some of y'all look forward to these updates. Um, you know, I'm looking at you, uh, Lindsay. So, anyway, yeah. Tune in next time, and we'll have another update for you. Like I said, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys next time.